Oh, it was the other uh, adapter to plug in my GPS to make sure. Yeah, that was the problem. It wasn't GPS. I bought that 12 volt thing in the air at night. I have to cut into it. Man, it's Saturday. I'm taking a good. Yeah, what a gamble. Hopefully y'all are home with your families. But if you're like me, you're home with your family. But you still got the truck to work on. So, yeah, as you can see, I haven't got a F8. What's up, buddy? Oh, Gary Bates says, give me that oil. Yeah, I figured it was time I done uh, lost the little sticker that told me, you know, the mileage that I needed to change it at. But... I put every time I change oil in this, I put that uh, Lucas in there. So give me a moment, guys. You know what, guys? I forgot to buy the right funnel. Um, I got that giant funnel if you've watched this before and it just don't work out. I guess I could take that off. That literally is broke. Holy moly. Oh, uh, that's Erlen. She likes to run and make noise. <laughs> um, holy moly. I don't know if I have the right funnel, guys. But anyways, this is, we do the cheap stuff. Um, unfortunately, last time I did oil, it was $10.99 for a gallon, and this time it is $14 something around here. Still not bad. And to make up for it, we put Lucas in here. The guy I bought the truck off of, he rebuilt, um, he had the truck since 450,000 miles, and he rebuilt the, uh, the bottom end, basically. I don't think he, I don't know if that means, like, he did the piston rings or not, and I didn't think to ask, like, I just thought the mains, you know, because that's simple to do. So that's probably all they did. So it's got 1.1 million miles on it. And he said every single oil change he ever does on any of his trucks, he adds this to it. A gallon of Lucas. I don't know. You know, say what you want about this. It gets all stringy and foamy, but the truck's still running, so I'm going to try it, right? You know what I mean? Like, what are you going to do, you know? <laughs> um, and she don't burn oil either. Like... I'm gonna have to knock on wood, but she's pretty good truck. Let me, let me get to knock on wood real quick. I'll tell you what. There we go. <laughs> yeah, uh, I won't be reading the chat or nothing. I I gotta find that funnel, people. I guess I could. How's everybody doing today? Anybody uh, on some big money today? Oh, man. Let's see here. Here's the air filter I got for her. If anything, we can put that on. She's definitely needed it. Whenever I bought it, that guy told me it probably needed an oil or air filter. I'm busy. Got my lube gun, all these fancy people. They got the air compressed one. I got the, the hand crank because I'm old fashioned and cheap like that. And I didn't buy any of that. Well, guys, that's a that's a total bummer. Total bummer. That scared the crap out of me. Literally. All right, I'm gonna go find the funnel, but first. I mean, I can still put oil in, it's just gonna suck. See my messy garage. Hang on, I'm sorry, I'm readjusting my awesome tripod that used to be a telescope tripod. <laughs> All right, we'll stick you right in there. Um, that's the drain plug, we're gonna go down there. I've already broke it loose. 
gonna wheel this down here so I can catch it. Alrighty, nothing but a bunch of black gold all over me. It's all right. It missed it missed the glove. <laughs> bear with me, guys. Bear with me. All right, and while that's draining, we will uh, get to that air filter up there. If you're just tuning in, I apologize for the extravagant um, production quality. Kind of just how we go, you know? Oh yeah, she's draining really nice. Um, check out my first video about the oil change. Um, I talk about well, actually, I got a video of me putting this uh, oil catch thing together. It's pretty good. It's definitely helpful. Um, it's got a pump on it. I can pump it right into the empty uh, oil jugs. Very helpful. Very, very helpful. I'm going to try something new. I'm going to wear this around my neck. I've got this, uh, <laughs> this thing here that kind of like clamps the phone around my neck so you can see like from this view I mean it's something pretty cool I guess to try but I ain't never changed a big wolf air filter in one of these trucks so this would be fun such a cute little bike you hear that <laughs> Mine's a little bit deeper than that. Let's see her. I'm just gonna start taking bolts off, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, my toolbox is on the other side. If y'all are tired of watching that oil drain, we'll uh, move on. See if I can't run this filter. <laughs> see, we'll read the chat real quick. See anybody else? Texas T, that's right. Use fuel ox friction eliminator. Ah, I guess I should have, huh? We'll get there. Oh, did I turn my ringer off? I get it now what you're saying, F8. <laughs> yeah, last time I went live, um, Broker called me and I was talking to him for like forever. And everybody kind of left. I understand, but I got to make that relationship, you know. Um, all right, now we're going to get my toolbox out. And we're going to start pulling um, bolts and screws and stuff off of this. Find out what, what happens. There's my messy garage, there's my Harley. 
gonna ride that soon there's my deer struck in van that gets uh fixed next month the, there's literally a backlog try to climb up on here without dying actually no i need my toolbox first i'm literally in my neighborhood doing this by the way guys i don't yeah this is how it is there's the murder civic right there um working on turning that into a dirt track car basically <laughs> minus the track just uh my backyard four wheeler trails all right i'm gonna guess and say that's a 9 16 i don't know why it just looks like that all right i need a ladder guys i climb up in here and break my neck the support bar over there is broke i think i broke it but see how this one's welded on that one over there is broke i hope you can see let me make sure i'm still streaming yep Oh, I bet it's shaky as crap because hey, that's not a 916. I wouldn't say it's a half inch, but I've been wrong before. It's a half inch. <laughs> Man, I feel like I could just take that whole side off there, though. Yeah, see the screws? Let's pop that off and it slides out, maybe. I don't know if I can reach that back screw, but I'd rather try that before I go and take the whole thing off. What do you guys think? I gotta find out how to get off here without dying. Oh, what a stretch. <laughs> I don't have the motion uh, control when I go live like this. So, take some drama mean if you're gonna watch this. See, look, pretty sure that's kind of a, a bad thing. Yeah, next I'm gonna need a radiator. All right, let's see here. Come on, I can't light it up. Huh. I'm just trying to figure out what Oh, they're connected back there the same way. We'll use this phone. What do you guys see? Oh, I'm not looking at the right thing. It's weird. It's got three cameras on the back of this dang phone. It's hard to see what, what exactly I'm pointing at. Sorry for the shaky, guys. I'm just trying to see what I'm getting into here. Probably should have done that before I went live. <laughs> Um, that doesn't, is that really what I got to take off? What is that? Huh. All right. That's not even connected to the front piece though. I don't feel any screws. I think it just clips in maybe. So I'm gonna take these two screws out and see what happens. Um, I know it's too shaky. I don't wanna make, make y'all sick. So let me just set this back up real quick. And I'll just jump off of here. Try not to break it back. <sighs> I was going to get a PM done at TA today in Seymour, Indiana, until I seen the price. <laughs> I do it for a fraction of that, and I know it's done. I mean, well, I wouldn't say right, but it's done. I don't know. They are yelling at their dog over. Maybe I'll have the number three. It's fine though. Guys, that's coming out really easy. Oh yeah. I was right. Look at there. I was right. That's so easy. Holy moly. Can you just reach in here? Oh no, is the camera not seeing it? 
Shoot. Hold on. I forgot to put my gloves on. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't think you guys even seen me take it off. Maybe you did. Anyways, how much were they going to charge? $3.99, dude, for like the first tier. I think that was just an oil change and a, uh, like a, a brake check or something like that. I didn't, I didn't get past the first line after it said $3.99. I was like, nah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to do it for $140 plus some shop supplies. You know what I mean? That, that I've already paid for a long time ago. Um, yeah, that filter came right off. Let's hope I bought the right one. Let's hope Amazon sent me the right one. Why is it so hot today? It's supposed to mellow out. The weather was. Is that OSHA approved? <laughs> Any, hey, there's nothing around here OSHA approved, sir. <laughs> oh, my. Wait, wait, wait. What do people usually say when they see these uh, air filters cash? Whoa, that's a big air filter. <laughs> Pretty neat though. I've never, I've never changed one of these before. Look at that. A real color, real pretty color blue too. It's like a sky blue. So surprised at how easy that was. Two screws. You just gotta kind of climb up here. You don't want to forget your OSHA harness. You know your safety harness. Plop that sucker back in that big Cummins right there. Oh. Show everybody in national nation your crack. It's a national TV, but yeah, assumed to be national TV. I mean, nobody even watches TV anymore, do they? I stream uh, alone. That that show was great. I love that show. Thought about doing something like that, like a parody of it, like alone in a truck stop, you know, inside your truck, like. <laughs> I just don't have, I got the ideas, I just don't have the time to edit that kind of stuff, you know? Because you could be like running from the lot lizards and stuff. It'd, it'd be hilarious. Like this last season on Alone was about bears and stuff. <laughs> this one could be about lot lizards, you know? <laughs> Gotta hide from them. <laughs> oh. Yeah, guys, I thought I was gonna have to take out a whole bunch of stuff to get to that, and it was literally two Phillips screws. Um, number threes, I believe. I have a number two in my thing. They got this handy, handy dandy little set. Try to find the number three. It's the biggest one here. It's over here. Yeah, that should fit better. That's a two. Yeah, a... Yesterday, I was trying to find a two and couldn't find it because there's so many number ones and threes. Now, all I'm finding is twos. Oh, here we go. Yeah, see, that's the Phillips number three. Big guy. And then that's the number two, a little guy. Everybody take their drama mean today. So I was about to wear that uh, neck mount again. <laughs> I shot a video today. I did a quick run to uh, uh, just outside Indianapolis and then back down to Seymour and then back home. And I did like a day in a life, but my uh i'll show you real quick guys i'm actually waiting for them to show up in the mail i know i'm all over the place that's just how i am you'll learn that about me right there that sucker that one right there has went bad okay that is like an air pressure switch and what that does that one in it um that's the one that tells you when your door's open and you've still got your uh brake on or you no, know, your door's open and your brake's off so i've got to replace that one then i've got another one that went out and i literally just filled up the inside with a jb weld because all it does was uh oh what did it do it was leaking they leak they're releaking air right out the prongs where the uh the wires connect so i'm gonna have to change them all out i got i bought two but i can't remember what the other one did but it, it wasn't nothing important like not you know what i mean it wasn't like a big deal which I mean, if you're 
you're gonna know your brakes not on when your truck's rolling <laughs> i don't know i'm used to the newer uh cascadias whenever you get out if your brake's still on it blows the horn like crazy so kind of once you do it a couple of times at a truck stop you you don't do it anymore you know what i mean so that's all that's been burned in my brain right this gonna be a bad view I'm just showing my butt the whole time this is the only fans guys so we're just gonna throw them screws back on See how that goes? You got them little thingies there. Make sure it fell away. Yeah. This is so easy, it's like a hinge system. Literally easier than my car. <laughs> Some cars you gotta take the dang battery out just to get the airbox off. Voila. Voila. All right, oil's drained, new air filter's in. Uh, my Garmin GPS took a crap on me the other day, but it was because I wired up a uh, another outlet, 12 volt outlet, and it must have arced or something because it rent the power supply to the GPS. Thank God it rent that. But the light on the power supply still comes on, so I thought it was a GPS, like almost $500 GPS, but inside the gps you can keep maintenance logs so it's just another fail safe and uh until you burn it up <laughs> but yeah hi erlin hi dad having hi. fun yeah good 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 look at all the oil down there texas tea well, talking to, i'm talking to at least three people on good old youtubes yeah, I'm definitely not wearing flip-flops. Unfortunately, I'm still wearing tennis shoes. Can they even hear you? Catch those stop, truck stop rats and skid them and eat them. There you go. Oh, those are the best ones, too, because they're so well-fed. Truck stop rats. What are you saying, baby? Don't you... Don't you remember? <laughs> yeah. Kind of threw you off with that whole truck stop rat thing, didn't I? <laughs> You left it at, well, you don't want to leave your things out overnight, do you? I'm sorry. Tell it sorry, that's right. Luckily it didn't rain. Yeah. All right, I'm putting my two back in because I use two for everything on the... That's correct. Oh. Well guys, I'm gonna try to find that funnel because uh, the one I did have, like a damn bucket that's set up here and it just wouldn't work but i need to find a guy who can weld that for me before i i'm not sure how important that is but seeing this whole thing move <laughs> probably should be fixed like immediately so there's that hey look how stringy that is from the last time i put lucas in there Ooh, it's red why is it red that's weird That's red. Why is it red, guys? Maybe some coolant blew out over here. I don't know. Maybe the Lucas is red. I don't remember. I think it is, actually. We're going to open it right now to make sure, because if it's not, I'm going to be worried. No. No, that Lu Lucas is baby poop green or brown tan. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Did you guys see that? That was some red, um, gummy red stuff on the outside of that. I've never seen that either. Oh, 
don't know why I'm putting on the gloves. It's already too late. <laughs> My hands are already dirty. <laughs> Might say anything about that. Oh. Yeah, I only wear my boots like if the shipper or receiver requires it or if it, it's uh, or I'm right on the bike, you know what I mean? Like, most of the time I'm in that truck anyway, so they're lucky I'm even wearing anything. <laughs> Shoes optional, shirts optional, clothes optional. But yeah, here's that old... Little dirty air filter. All in its hundred and fifty dollar glory here. Ah, uh, no, I think I paid seventy something for that one on Amazon. I don't know. I don't remember. But it is from Torque Parts on Amazon. Pretty sure it wasn't even a hundred bucks. Huh? What? <laughs> I said I'm pretty sure it wasn't a hundred bucks. Why do you have those on? So I don't get my hands any more dirtier than I already have. Like black? Like black, yeah. Like you already got some black. Pretty much. Can I see? I don't want to take them off. You can see that. That's dirty. There you go. All right. Okie dokie. Okay. Can I see you from here? Can you, can you see they them? can see you through the grill, yes. Can you see them now? No, you're hiding. I can. I, <laughs> you can you're see silly. Me. All right. Love you. Be be good over there. Okay. See if I can find that drain plug that I threw. It is still dripping out. Maybe I should just let it drip for a little bit longer. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Since it's the weekend, I ain't going anywhere. Uh, what that say? These comments, they don't last long. Uh oh, what happened? Sorry guys, I'm trying to get these gloves to work on my phone. Completely like, I don't know what's going on. Show me the chat, you mother suckers. Okay, here we go. Clothing optional. I can see him changing the channel name. Nude Trucking Life. Oh, God. <laughs> Is it grease slung from a fill nut? Dude, it really could be. It's, it's hard. Probably is. There's, that's the only, it's weird that it land there, but I did get some grease like all over the place the other day when I, or a couple weeks ago when I did the chassis, but for it to fling all the way up and under that, and it could be, could have been old too. That could have been where I, uh, maybe I set that, set that down somewhere greasy. I don't know. Maybe I had grease on my hand. Here we go. Look, the whole inside of it's like, where, where you at? There you are. See what I mean? That all that liquid that you see? Watch. I'm confused. I'm kind of baffled at this. Maybe the seal. Sorry. Maybe the seal's really bad. But watch this. You can't tell really, but there is a red tint to that. I hope that doesn't mean like I'm getting. No, because if you get coolant and oil, it gets milky. I know that from. Well, at least gasoline engines. I mean, that's still pretty much the same, same stuff. Yeah. You got some strawberries, do you? Yeah. Hell yeah. Look like at Moonstar. Oh my God, Look at that. No, he hasn't followed you yet. <laughs> Here, I'll help you out. Hang on, guys. Anybody 
Yeah, it's fine. They'll, the girls will pick through them. They love strawberries. Yeah, appreciate it. Hell yeah. But yeah, our neighbors, uh, we have one down the road who her brother like drives a, uh, you know, he works for a towing company and he somehow got a hold of a skid of strawberries. So the entire neighborhood has been passing strawberries around. It's pretty cool. I'm guessing it was uh, maybe a truck, you know, reefer or something, some truck that wrecked that had strawberries and they had to recheck the whole load or something. I don't know, but hey, if that's what happened, that's what happened. Well, I don't know why it's red in there. Um, let me check the chat again real quick. Maybe somebody knows. Changed my water pump and saw red and white and pink. Okay. Okay, Gary. It could be. Could very well be. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Um, the grease I was using was red, so it was that Lucas stuff. I just buy a couple tubes at a time and I'm out. I meant to buy more and completely spaced it was at Walmart. Also meant to buy a better filter. Or a, um, hopefully I wasn't calling that a filter, a better funnel. And of course I didn't. <laughs> All right, guys, my oil filter, my new oil filter is MIA. <laughs> you can see the mess in my garage. We've got stuff from softball, a um, whole bunch of random stuff in there. You'd wonder why I couldn't find something, right? Um, give me a moment. All right, guys. Come with me as we try to go on this impossible journey to find the oil filter in my backyard. Look at this. No, hang on. These gloves don't like this. This is the Murder Civic. <laughs> One of my recent videos, uh, we actually did we busted the windshield out, or the uh, the back window, rear window. Um, it was drifting and uh, yeah so there's that here's the predator we call it the neighborhood predator it's a Polaris uh, predator 500 this thing is bad to the bone 
and there's that bucket filter over there guys this this shed is just full of stuff <laughs> christmas stuff um yeah that filter would not be in here i didn't put it in here oh lord there's my apu i took off that's still for sale by the way you guys want to hear the predator run real quick i'm just wasting time but whatever um we're rebuilding all this we've already got it plotted and everything um 24 by 36 uh it's gonna be a single bay with two separate rooms it's gonna be great oh let's get this stuff going baby <laughs> clean this filter out and we'll use this um there's some more toys no filter in here either yeah it's just a mess back here i'll offer y'all that ain't seen the backyard once we get around here huge bonfire coming up you can see that fire down there or you can see the fire pit that right there is a dresser but inside on the right side is wow that's some shaky stuff i'm sorry guys on the right side is a uh, four inch target and on the left is a like a one and a half little still target down there where that pull ladder is 85 yards uh silhouette target and those blue barrels are what we uh run the car into <laughs> but yeah around that fire pit there there's a figure eight you see it, it goes around and back down and uh it's just a lot of fun. If I wasn't drinking, I would show you guys. I'd hop on the four-wheeler, but let me tell you something. Alcohol and power sports don't match, don't go together. So I'm, I might be half special, but I ain't that special. But yeah, I went live the other day and there was a crop duster. I was gonna wash the truck and I'm like, that sucker flew overhead and I was like, holy crap, let's go. So then my broker called and I was only live for like a few minutes. So I ended up deleting it because I just felt bad. Guys, where's my oil filter? <laughs> it's in an Amazon box. I got two of them for like, I don't know, it's pretty cheap, like compared to what you would buy one at for, from like somewhere. Hi, what's up? Hi, is my TV a 32 inch? Do what? Is my TV a 32 inch? Yes, I believe your TV is a 32, yep. Yeah. I've lost my oil filter and my marbles. I did find a funnel I'm trying to clean out gonna take forever to get this oil in there but I'm not putting it in there without the oil filter if I can just find it uh. Oh my gosh. Whew. Guys, I found it. I found it. <laughs> uh. Uh, yeah. Freaking found it. All right, let's go pull it off. I do not have a filter wrench either. I use a belt. 
And the last time I filmed this, I was using the belt and I was going the wrong direction. <laughs> I, to I torqued it so mad, so hard. It was so awful. And, you know, it's just, when you're upside down, well, hell, when you're facing something that's threading in, I don't know. I can use all the excuses ever. I just, I just messed up this all. All right. You know, I bought those oil filters in pairs. They both come in a box. And it took me forever to find it. But I found this belt in literally a minute. Like, actually, I seen it like a week ago, just laying on the floor in there, so. And I haven't used it since I changed the oil filter the last time. All right. Right? Tight, right? Loose. <laughs> We're gonna pull it this way. So we need that upside down. Oh. I don't know, we'll find out. Watch how silly I am, or silly this looks. It's just such a mess to do this. It's hard to get to. Luckily the bumper ain't broke yet. Oh, and... yeah. no. All right, this is the hard part. Still feel like it should go this way. And turn it that way, right? Yep. Okay. Watch me be wrong. Watch me, I changed it up last second. Probably changed it the wrong way. That is gonna turn it left. Alright. I will say if you're gonna buy these gloves and actually use them and put them on at the right time. Make sure you get the thicker ones. Don't get the cheap freaking, uh, I don't know. I don't know what, I can't remember now, but I just know that I kept ripping them all the time. I literally just got up against these hose clamps and all I did was pop it and even open it up. Usually just putting those cheap ones on will cause them to rip. All right, I'm gonna get a better grab, a little higher. Watch me rip my glove after saying all that. Well, I dropped the belt, but it didn't go down because we're up there pretty good. Uh, trying to get it up high so I can reach the, over the frame. Uh, we'll give her like a quarter turn or so. I don't know. We'll get her pretty loose and then I'll wheel the thing over here to get under it to catch the rest of the oil. Oh, uh, see that ain't too tight. Because uh, I put it on last. Now, uh, if I would have took this to the shop and then got poor and had to do it myself the next time, It'd probably feel like it was put on with a freaking uh, impact, you know? Just one of the small things I've noticed by doing crap myself. You don't have to torque these crazy. All right, that's nice and loose. It also helps that you turn it the right direction from the beginning. <laughs> uh, we'll wheel this little guy over. This oil change cart. Splash it. it. Says it'll hold 20 gallons of oil, but dude, that's if you don't move it at all. It's also got brakes. All right, I hate this part. Try to let it down easy, not get oil all over my nice tennis shoes here. Some other tennis shoes, I got them and some cleaning out behind the shed and there was like a pool back there and we think the dog was getting sick she kept drinking out of it stagnated water a little mini kid pool Ugh. so I got them shoes really nasty to why I did I was scared to wear them <laughs> there we go guys we'll let that drip for a minute we'll clean up with a clean rag we'll put some fresh oil around the oh let me make sure I got the rubber out Yeah, the rubber came off with the filter. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
these off. I'm sweating really bad. I mean, a guy could do this if you had, if you knew where everything was when you started, you could do this within probably not even an hour. Oh, shoot. Look at that big turbo. Tell you what, put that on the, the murder Civic. Look at that the turbo right there. <sighs> Check out that alternator. Nice and shiny. If you don't know about that alternator right there, check out that video. It's on the side of the road because that thing, uh, the other one caught on fire. The bigger one, you can see where it used to be. Uh, the other one caught on fire. It only costs 850 bucks to have somebody in the pouring rain put another one on. Um, it's somewhere in Illinois. I can't even remember where that was now. Well, they put it on. It's pouring rain. I felt bad for them. You know, and I, I knew it was going to be expensive, but anyways, I think I went live too for a little bit. What they didn't do was put on this wire here, the remote sensor wire. I believe that's what it's called. So after that alternator is on, it, my batteries kept running dead. Like the alternator wasn't working. Yeah. So then I didn't know which one to put it on. These are separate. One's hot, one's cold. And I put it on the bottom one. There's a fuse on the other side in the sam box i can't remember i'll just i'll bring you to it but it's just for that that voltage regulator in this box here behind the air i can't tilt this no more this box here and it was only like a five amp or a 15 amp fuse and even after putting that on the other pole i was like what the heck's going on it will not charge my battery yeah come to find out it was because that fuse was blown so i put the fuse in and left a left it on that pole over there on the back of the alternator and bada bing bada boom um for a little while the batteries were good and then i ended up having to i just replaced all of them that's another video too like it's not a how-to it's just how i do you know what i mean this is all new for me like i figure it's good content and i'm gonna do it so i might as well you know if it does help somebody they see a mistake i made or i'm like hey dude i messed this up and this is what happened you know that's if i can help somebody along the way you know that's what I do. Cause I'm just doing this out of, I'm just doing this, you know, just to save money. We got nothing going on at the house right now. Anyways, we're going to Kentucky Kingdom tomorrow. Uh, it's an amusement park in Kentucky. <laughs> this phone is crooked or something. Oh, I, I live right off of 65 by the way. So if you hear somebody hitting the rumble strip, that's because literally right next to 65. every now and then you'll hear uh those real nice trucks jaking into the rest area you'll hear them uh, <laughs> all right let's prime that other filter Yes, I'm doing this in my driveway in the neighborhood. How awesome. <laughs> Keep my beer out of the sun. Yeah, if we get this done pretty soon, guys, yeah. still got people watching. I might play some guitar for y'all. Play some master puppets. Master! Master! Uh, yeah, here's these gloves. I forgot to look at the box again. <laughs> you got no toe hooks. That's about to fall off. Funny thing is, is uh, that Cascadia I was leasing brand new off of SFI. Those tow hooks, I believe they're on the other side. They come up missing. <laughs> I don't know if they fell off or somebody took them, but this part is still on there. Just like that. And funny thing is, is I parked this truck in the same spot that I used to park that one at. I left it unattended, so 
Huh. Luckily, I still had fuel in the tanks, right? Yeah, I think I'll post that video of the day in the life type deal. I might post that soon, but it just had that that brake noise. And, and the, the, the brake was lit up, the light was, the entire trip. So, not sure if the wrong person sees that and reports me or something, the DOT, but it's literally just a faulty sensor. I've still got my gauges, they all work, you know. Whatever. I, you can't please everybody, but there's always that one person that wants to see you fail, so... Say what you want about priming filters. To me, it makes perfect sense to um, at least get them halfway full. <laughs> this one literally half a gallon in, and it's still chugging down. Oh, we'll get some of that nice clean oil, run it around the brim of this O-ring, giant gasket thing here. Such a beautiful day, guys. I hope y'all are at home or gonna be home soon. Uh, appreciate you hanging out with me. There's not a whole bunch that happens. <laughs> but when something does happen, it's like a bunch at once. Kids come busting in or something. You know, dog tries to attack that other dog next to the one. Or I do something really stupid on camera, <laughs> live, <laughs> can't edit it out. <laughs> uh, all right, I gotta climb up in here. I'll probably fall and drop this and get oil everywhere, but if it happens, it happens, you know. i to put this in here where you guys can see a little better. Hey, everybody. Sorry, I can't read the chat at the moment. I have oil all over me. <laughs> Okay. I should have like a step stool over here or something. You know what I'm saying? Now I gotta straddle this bumper and hope I don't lose a testicle in the process. All right. Put some weight on the mount there. Oh no. <laughs> Live. This trucking light breaks its tailbone on a bumper. There we go. Okay, we're gonna hit the gasket surface on the uh, fuel filter uh, holder thingy with the clean rag. Get some of that dirty oil off there. Out of there. All the way around on the inside. High as we can get. You probably can't even hear me, I'm sorry. Hang on. You can't get the back. Some people might say 400 bucks is worth not having to worry about this yet. Not have to do it yourself. <laughs> you might be right. <laughs> I might have to agree with you sometimes, but I feel like if you're able, you're able. Just do it. Because I would rather be doing it here at home than sitting somewhere waiting hours to get, you know what I mean? Like somewhere away from the home. So there's that at least. Let's see here. Okay. We have contact. And it's slipping out my hand. No, 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 no. Oh. Yeah, it sucks. These damn tow hook holders are in the way. Can't really get a good grip. All right, what can I do here to make this easier? I can't get under. <laughs> All right, I gotta put my other shoulder in here somehow. Put that down. Oh. There we go. Should have sat on my butt to begin with. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh. 
I'm gonna spin it backwards just for where I can feel it hit the threads the right way a little bit. There it went. Come on. Thought it went. <laughs> <clears throat> Hard to deal with, it's a little heavy. Yeah. What in the world? This is where my hands start cramping up and I start cussing. I'm checking the other filter to make sure I got the rubber off. I filled up and yeah, the rubber's off, so I don't know what's going on. Man, I'm at an angle here and I don't realize it. <sighs> It's hard to hold this when it's got that oil. Put all over it. Here we go, here we go. Come on. Why won't you turn on that? God dang it. What is going on? Oh man, really getting mad now. Not oily enough, I guess. Mm -hmm. Get some more oil on Put the rubber on it first. Try that. Yeah, I don't care. Whatever works. Yeah, it's not going to stay up there. You motherfucker. Ugh. Nothing. Why did you under the truck? Because I'm working on it, baby. Why is there a hole? There's a hole? Oh, you Third got room. you got black on your leg. Oh, yeah. You got to take a shower. <laughs> you totally do. And John, everywhere, Mike. Yeah. Um. Holy moly, guys. That was a mess. Got some on your truck. That's fine. I'm going to get it washed one day. Um, pulled the O-ring off the filter and it rolled into the center under the truck. In case you don't know, there's no oil in it, so therefore I can't start it and move the truck. So I get to crawl. Crawl, crawl, crawl. It's not threading on there. I don't know what's up with that. It's not... This is not wanting to do it. I don't know why. So... And I've got grease all over my legs. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Jesus. Ugh. Oh crap. I got lucky it was more toward the driver's side so was it that hard I still got a couple viewers cool y'all start seeing me throw tools here in a minute <laughs> this sucks never had this kind of trouble getting getting into the thread before is that supposed to go off or what is no that's the inside of the filter I'm gonna clean the outside of the filter so I got like a better grip. Hang on a minute. Did you hear my little girl? That was Erilyn. She's the youngest. She's like, uh, why are you under the truck? And she's like, you're in a hole. She, oh, you're you're dirty. <laughs> all over me now. All over my shoulder. On my legs. Part of it. All right, I'm gonna get back in here and sit down and start crying.
Oh, I'm over it, guys. I, I should have just stayed there and paid them, you know what? <laughs> I just don't understand why it's so hard. Like, it's never been this. It wasn't this hard last time. I did this in high school. This was my after school job for dump trucks, not for semis. Uh, Mack trucks, actually. Just up the road. There's a lube tech. Pretty fun. Pretty fun, but boy, I take my time at this kind of stuff, and it's always been a thing. It's always been just what I do is take my time. Yeah, I guess I was too slow. Didn't do a bad job, I was just too slow. But whatever, dude. Get somebody here that'll do, you know, non quality work for uh, the fucking. Oh, oh, bad word. Non quality work for the peanuts you're paying, you know? Like, right ahead. <laughs> I was taking time to clean off every grease fitting. Uh, just cleaning the filters off after I put them on. Here I am again. Hung up. Hang on. Oh. Okay, that seems to want to go. And make positive this wasn't the wrong filter. <laughs> Trying to figure out why it won't fit. Oh, here we go. I've just been crooked the whole time. Let me just, I'm fighting that gasket. There we go, guys. Oh my God. Cramps up my hand. Bad. Oh God. Guys, can I get some confetti cannons, some fireworks? Because that was better than sex right there. Problem was, is whenever I was screwing it in, I wasn't, I needed to pull it this way a little bit and I just couldn't do it. My hands were slipping on it. And uh, we got it. Hand tight, oily hand tight, and then three quarter turn after that, be good to go. Um, right now, Fleet Guard is facing out. So I'm gonna get it to where I see the beginning of the the fill instructions because that even tells you on the side <laughs> just seen it it shows a prime in the filter so fleet guard says you need to prime the filter and they're the ones that make them so i'll take their word for it so we're going to tighten this up throw some oil in here <sighs> celebrate I will say something I noticed about, you know, I'm I'm getting closer to the 40s, you know, like I've noticed that I don't know if it's from trucking or being overweight, not being very healthy, but my hands have started cramping up like way quicker than usual. Like actually I've never had them cramp up until I think this year. Like whenever I'm like, you know, like a screw or something or a nut onto a bolt. Just doing that for a little bit Like I just start it just starts cramping up to where I can't like move it. You know, what I'm saying it kind of just like Yeah, just like, you know Not really I wouldn't say like Charlie horse cramps, but just like If you keep doing this, you're not gonna be able to move your hand for like 10 minutes type deal <laughs> I don't know what that is, but probably like Lyme disease or something I hope not I'm just saying, I don't know what it is. All right, I said three quarter turn, but I'm already like twerking on it. I didn't say twerking, I said twerking. Yeah, I've already tightened it too much, I think. That's weird. Now watch, I'll start it later on and it'll just blow oil everywhere because it's cross-threaded or some shit. 
I'm kidding. I don't think it's cross thread. It does. I don't know. I did have some issues with it, didn't I? <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to reposition my belt so I can. Fuck it. Everybody. Not that tight. <laughs> All right, we'll put the drain plug in and we'll start filling up oil. Oh man. I'll read some comments here in just a second. Let me get out of this uh, this trap I'm in here. Look, fat man trying to get out of this area. <laughs> oh, surprised the bumper ain't broke yet. You want to know the truth? So I'm definitely not on the supports. <laughs> Whatever. Oh no! Check this out. Another reason why you don't wear good shorts or good. Uh, you know, your outside shoes while you're working on your truck. Oh, man, this should be the thumbnail, huh? <laughs> friends don't let friends do lube work on your truck with your nice shoes. Look at German Shepherd hair. Look at that. I have it all over me all the time. Like, I could be gone from home for a week and still have German Shepherd hair on, on me. If you have a German Shepherd, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Or a St. Bernard or anything with long hair, really. Yeah, that's going straight to the feet. Oh, well, looks like it's meant to be, right? <laughs> Shoot. Oh, that's a pain in the butt, guys. That was a pain in the butt. I've seen some chat. Let's find out. Whew. Let's find out. No adult tantrums. Can you believe it? How about that house explosion? What house exploded, Gary? Yeah, no uh, temper tantrums right now. Might have to take it out on the steel targets a little bit later. No, I'm kidding. You can't do that while you're drinking either. It's last thing you want to do. Whew. My mom and my aunt just got here. Hear that dog over there? That dog is like this big. I forget what it's called, but my German Shepherd will go over there and try to smell it and beat it up. Like, not even like hurt it. Just. I'm live streaming on Fa or on YouTube. <laughs> you what are you doing? I got like 400 something things. I got one. Um, I'm changing the oil. They're proud of me because I didn't throw any fits or anything. I couldn't get them filter on forever. It took me forever. And then I got grease all over me. So it's a pretty good uh, milestone there for, for me not losing my mind there. <laughs> I was going to have this done at the truck stop, but it was 400 bucks. Like, I can do that myself, but at least I know, you know, right. know it was done somewhat. <laughs> needs a bath. It needs a bath bad, but this stuff here, you got to scrub that by hand, and I ain't got the back for it. <laughs> that, I will hire somebody to do. You got plenty of kids. Yeah, getting them. <laughs> it's one thing to get them to do it. It's another thing to get them to do it right. Right, well, you're paying good nothing, aren't you? No, it don't matter. With one of them, it don't matter. <laughs> well, that's when you get bullying and an airline, a brush, and a rag. <laughs> Poor babies. Make them plants for that. I would. Wouldn't hurt them. This is what makes the family money. Well, Shelby. <laughs> Shelby makes the family money, too, you know, grooming them dogs. But sometimes she makes more than I do. <laughs> Oh. Donna! Shelby's in the house. That's where I'm going because your mom waits to you smell your mom. So we're cutting wind, huh? Yeah. Told you I was live. Don't be talking like that. My family, I tell you what. Can't take them anywhere. Let's get that drain plug on there. Maybe you can. I'll climb down there real quick, y'all. 
I'll be right back. Why is my dog acting like that? Yeah, I'm. That's not okay. You know, she she does that to anybody that comes in the door, even. I. That's no excuse. When I got kids, and the neighbor kids come over that she's seen her whole life. She knows them kids, and she's gonna act like. I, you think she's blind, but every time you hold up. A snack or something, she's gonna drive it. Like, <laughs> she just don't like people, I guess. Last thing I want is a dog that acts like that. She, she could be blind, I guess. I don't know. Alright, guys. Oil. Oil is ready to go in. This, this is the boring part. <laughs> 12, 13 gallons in there. This Lucas takes that's like, oil, right? yeah, that's a lot of oil. 100 and uh, no, I don't know. I just bought some air fresheners and crap. So about 180 bucks while I spent. That's better than 400 and. Way better. I know it's still hot though in the sun. Ah. Uh, well, here's the one I used last time. It took forever. Start off with some Lucas. This stuff's like freaking molasses. Look at that. It's a oh my gosh. Maybe that stuff turns red if it's outside. You know what I mean? Because I remember putting that stuff on before or in this Lucas and you know just missing it it's so damn stringy maybe it just turns red after over time being on the outside of the lid or on the inside but not the outside kind of oh my god look at that that's just awful absolutely awful but well, hey recommended by the guy that's had the truck for like 800,000 miles so I'll believe him. <laughs> oh, see if anybody said anything. Sorry if I'm missing any chats, guys. I've just been busy, obviously. I know a DIY semi, the fuel ox thing, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Y'all uh, try that out. I don't want to try anything new in this until I rebuild it. Do what? They parked me in, didn't they? <laughs> I'll be able to get out of yeah, it. Yeah, just like do like backward, backward, backward. Yeah. 50 point turn. Yep. Changing the oil. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Getting my wallet. Yeah, you have to like every month and a half in these things. Get my wallet and um, get your card back out. Your Walmart card. Oh, I don't need it right now. Yeah. I got to go to work. All right. Love you. Love you. Love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, at least you remembered it. Not and didn't wait till you got to work and be like, oh crap. Yeah, it's from when I cleaned up my hair. God dang it. This filter is way too small. 
Alright, the bad part about this is I don't have any of the stuff that makes it fast. You know what I mean? At the shop, we had the, the air compressed thing. You just stuffed the thing in there and um, turned it on how many quarts you wanted to put in or, or how many gallons or whatever on the nozzle, and it, it did it. Dang, I wish I would have got a different filter. This is just going to take forever, guys. Jake breaks. You hear it? Brrr. Let's go do it again. Here it goes. Love you. Love you. Have a good day. You hear that Jake break? If I had a loud Jake like that, every tunnel I go through. Brrr. <laughs> and I'll save these and I'll pump the old oil into them. Take them and recycle them sell them. go. So my son's driving my old Honda. Um, if you followed me back on it, whenever I did the uh, FedEx, I drove this little silver Honda four-door everywhere. And uh, it's not the same one that we tear up in the backyard. It's that, that one's, that one's not roadworthy. But I gave him mine on, you know, uh, you know, it's not much, but a good first car. And he's already put an exhaust on it. Sounds pretty good. And, uh, He's thinking about putting a lot more money into it, so. Yeah, you better. <laughs> yeah, guys, there's got to be a better way. This is awful. This just takes forever. And this is a small engine funnel anyways. <laughs> Can you see, will you read that? <laughs> small engine funnel. It says it right on there. Ugh. I got oil all over the freaking turbo hose and everything. It's not good. I got to find a different funnel. Okay, yeah, I lost somebody. I'm sorry guys here. Here's the big one. If I can figure out how to get this in here and to work Man, even with that broke it still sucks There we go It's still crooked <laughs> Like that doesn't change anything Huh wait All right, I'm taking that off. Maybe I can point it upwards. Hang on, guys. Check this out. Check this out. All two of you. <laughs> so that's literally just a rubber hose. I'm just going to loosen that. See if I can't angle it up. Maybe put a block or something up there. Just I'm not going to tear that up. I'll put something in between it. But I don't know. Just trying to make this a lot quicker because dumping a gallon of oil in there one half quart at a time is a pain in the ass. 
right? All right, let's find out what's like to do. Too small, three eighths. Too big, my gosh. What size are you then? 10 millimeter? I bet it's a 10 millimeter, is what it looks like. 10 millimeter, guys, I should have known. The infamous 10 millimeter. I got a good 10 millimeter socket too. Don't know how long I'll have it. <laughs> My hands are all oily. All right, let's see what we can do here. Take that out and maybe twist it. Yeah, I can't do much with it apparently. Anything to help hold that up so I can get more in there is appreciated. Look at that. That would be so much better. I'm, I'm going to jam a fucking wood block in there. I ain't scared. At this point, I'm just doing whatever works, you know. We'll protect it with this. Use <laughs> the best side. That one's got screws sticking out. Couldn't use that side. Right there we go. That's just literally going to be in the way. <laughs> of course. Of course, of course. It's too big anyways. Let's find out. Awesome, I just gotta remember to take that out so I'm not driving with an open container, right? <laughs> Jesus. I literally just threw a piece of grass in the, in the crankcase. That's gonna be great. Oh well. Alright. Goodness. Just now I can get the four in several cores at once. Or several general or you know, whatever. You know what I mean? I think I'm gonna end this live because you guys don't want to sit here and watch me pour oil in this. You probably didn't even see any of that. Um, this is a slow, freaking draining funnel as well. So great, great. <laughs> oh, such a beautiful day. Stuck out here working on the truck. But hey, it's possible. You seen how quick that filter went went on. Um, blown away by that. I gotta find uh, somebody with a welder to hold that bracket back together. That's crazy. I didn't even know it was broke. I haven't even been on this side like climbing in and out and stuff. I haven't been on this side because there's nothing over here for me to climb in, you know, to get to. Um, everything's right here. Over there, whenever I was doing the, the um, you can see that video too where I changed out the what is that? Like it wasn't the heater core, but it was the condenser or whatever. Damn, I can't remember what the thing is called now. The evaporator, the evaporator coil. And I had to take the box off at the back here and uh, all that fun stuff. You know, I was climbing in and out just like I was for the filter or climbing up. Over here, I only climbed up this time just to get the filter in. It was already broke. I don't know where it, what broke that. Dang, guys, that took just as long. <laughs> God, it's taking way too long. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'll read. I'll save me my comments or whatever. 
We're just gonna be done with this live for today. I appreciate you guys hanging out. TBT trying to maintain my component, dude. No kidding. No kidding. Uh, made it this far. Effect <laughs> up Don't stop. Okay, dude, I'll keep streaming. I mean, you guys going to. Sounds like his conversation is getting interesting, anyways. <laughs> hey, my screen is frozen. Oh my God. Whenever that was going on, I was just standing there not saying anything. I actually thought that. I was like, oh my God, these people are going to think that I'm not, you know, that I'm not even streaming. I just froze. <laughs> Because I literally did not move. I was like, I was falling apart inside. You know what I mean? And I still am because, God, this funnel's taking forever. Taking forever. I'm going to get another set of gloves. I don't know. I think I'm going to pull the screen out of that funnel. I think that's the problem. Yeah, we'll just pull that out. Heck, do I need the screen for when I got it damn big ass oil filter <laughs> oh yeah this funnel set in my shed for a little while so it but look that hardly even lets the the thick oil through look at that that is one heck I mean yeah it stopped a little bit good but look how thick that is guys that is that is a super thick screen damn damn we got another thing of oil Oh. Watch, let's pour some more of this molasses in here. I like to mix it up. I like to pour some molasses and some oil. <laughs> oh, it's all over me now. That's great. Oh, uh, look at that. Molasses. Look at that. <laughs> Jeez, look, it's still turning in like little hairs and stuff. Yeah, I took my gloves off just in time to just make a huge mess all over myself. Love when that happens. Let's see if I can reach another one. Okay. Oh. Hi, Dad. Hi, baby. You got, why do you got the gloves off? <laughs> Did you just... <laughs> you guys hear what she just asked me? Why do I have my gloves off? Exactly what I was thinking when I poured oil all over my hand. So you the oil. Yes, yes, yes. She likes to repeat everything she hears. So if you're really frustrated, she'll repeat it and you'll be like, Truck. Can you get the rest of them out the back of the truck? This is almost like watching paint dry, guys. Huh? I'm talking to the live stream people. The fun fans? The fun fans? <laughs> no, this isn't fun and crazy kids, your favorite show. Well, I have fun fans following me around. You have fans following you around? Inside their house? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not paying Wait, attention to it. They're not inside the house. They're not outside. They're, they've got a babysitter now, though. Huh? They have a babysitter. I don't know if you can go over there. Well, okay, I guys. Didn't... Fun tip. Fun tip. Let's put you on the ground here. That's what I like to do with this oil. Well, um, because I don't just empty it all out. Hang on, baby. Hang on. When I don't empty it all out, I, uh, I like to put it upside down. I got the lids closed and just let it drain. You know what I mean? Let it uh, drain to the bottom. I did that the last time I changed the oil. Yeah. And I had so much still in these that I think I had a full gallon left over just by uh, letting it all soak to the bottom. You know what I mean? Because you can feel it in there. It's a bunch of oil. It's really thick. So just another way to get 
the most of your money. You know what I mean? If you got time. You know what I mean? Penny pension. We penny pension, guys. Hang on, let me go get some more oil. All right, four more gallons. Here we go. Huh? I'm talking to the live stream people. What do you? What kind of mess are you making over there, huh? It's my slime. Your slime? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Um, Idea: bring all the oil to where you're using it. Oh man, that that would be great. Dad. Dad. I honestly am entertaining. I'm good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Hang on, baby. Hang on. TBT USA. Great idea. Use an old beer bong. No, 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 no. No, those are for uh, maybe the after party. I'm not going to use it. To... <laughs> That's basically what that looks like is a beer bong, isn't it? <laughs> Apparently, we have time. We are watching you pour 10 gallons of engine through a thimble. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No kidding, dude. That really was like a thimble too, wasn't it? That thing was so... I'm gonna go get another beer. I'll be right back, guys. What do you need, baby? Um... Bowling. It's not hot. All right, guys. These pretty damn good. I think they're like seven percent alcohol. Nine, six. Okay, it's not bad. It's not like those. Uh, oh, what are those called? The Voodoo Rangers. Oh man, basically chewing that beer though. It's really thick, but. It's 9%. It's like drinking three Budweiser's at once. I'm okay with that. <laughs> All right. Hey, after this, guys, I'm going to paint the deck out back. You guys want to watch it dry? <laughs> no way I'll be right there to talk you through it. Maybe a play-by-play. -play. All the damn corn flies and bugs that's going to get stuck to it. Buffering. What's Buffering. Buffering. You know what corn flies are? Them, them little things look like a piece of corn. They look like an ear of corn with wings. Oh, yeah! Those little tiny guys. Oh. My puppy's Yeah, I still got two more gallons in the truck. Something huh? like that. Talking to the live stream, baby. So if you hear me talking, unless I say Erlen, I'm talking to the live stream. You can't say Holly every time I talk. What's the live stream? Um, I'm making a video and people are watching it as it's being made. Well, you gave me a great idea for a video for the Halloween time. Live scream. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and make the thumbnail now. Live scream. We're going to do it uh, Halloween. Around Halloween time, we're going to that amusement park because they do something for Halloween. So we'll just we'll just live scream it. <laughs> Why are we going to the music park? Okay, it's amusement park. Oh, music. Amusement. 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 Oh. I'm gonna put this away, guys. I have grease all over me, people. She's literally going to say hi every time I talk. Yeah, because I don't know what you saying. Because you're speaking Spanish. Mi amigo, donde es el baño? Speaking Spanish. Por favor. Spanish. You're speaking Spanish.
Yeah. All right, guys, let me go get more oil because I didn't bring it all with me at once. I was not set up for this live stream, people. All right, I got one. She's got the other. That's fine. It's heavy, isn't it? Uh, yeah, Dad. <laughs> Thank you, baby. All right. Guys, we only got two left. Still a bunch of Lucas. Like um, one left. Yeah. I bought 10, but it says... 14 but the last time I changed the oil it was only like 12 so yeah or 12 or 11 and the or no it was only 10 in the Lucas I don't know we'll find out we'll check the stick you know what I'm saying I've still got I've still got an extra quart or a gallon that I bought just just to have you know in the truck so you shouldn't have bought nine. I should have bought a whole bunch because back then it was 1049 or whatever I did a video on it 1099 or something and now it's 14 something Dad, I got black on me. That's weird. Cause look, cause I was doing this. Oh yeah, don't touch this truck, man. Get black on me. Yeah, this truck will make you dirty just looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, I got tons of black. Look. Yeah. Everywhere, all my own. Well, not up my own. Down my arm. Look, Daddy. Alright. Yeah, don't touch the tripod, baby. Yeah. And I'm touching the house with it. No, don't do that. It'll get stuck. No? See? Yeah, don't do that. Look. Yeah, that stuff clings to that kind of wood. Because it's not, like, sanded. It tried to get stuck. Look. Look, Dad. Okay, baby. Right, guys, we're almost there. Yeah, you are. You're... Why do you have to say it like that? Dad, yeah. I'm talking to the live stream. You don't have to say. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> you got two more guys. I watch the empty chair sometimes, I guess. Just watch a truck with a hood open now, yeah? Watch the beer. Yeah, that's a uh, platinum in case you didn't. Get that. Just uh, Bud Light Platinum. Very good, very good. Really smooth. One more after this, guys. One more after this. I should wash this truck. I mean, I just, I'm gonna take it and have it done because, ugh. Last time I washed it, I my back was messed up for like three days. It's got soot all up and down both sides, you know. And that stuff does not come off with pressure. I don't care. It, you know, you can throw soap on it. It's not coming off unless you scrub by hand. Unless you got some super awesome chemicals like the truck stop guys do. I'm hoping. I mean, I haven't. The truck wash guys, I haven't. Because I had a truck that, you know what I mean? I have not had a truck that's had soot all down the side of it like that. So it's heavy. Had it washed in the truck stop, so I don't know. Uh, what? I'm drinking water. You're drinking water with a spoon? Yeah. 
That's exciting. I'm doing this. Yep. Can you show the live stream how that works? Yeah. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. So, um, first thing, we just get a spoon and we put water in it and then we take a spoon and then we drink it. Yeah, you know, that's the poor way, isn't it? That's, that's poor people right there. <laughs> Love you. I don't know where she gets this stuff, but whatever keeps her occupied, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, now here's the first uh, gallon that was upside down. And it might be a little messy, but look at that. Oh, yeah. Good enough. As long as I use some of it, I feel good, right? You know what I mean? Here's another one. My hand's probably in the way the whole time, so you don't even see like how much is actually coming out. It's a substantial amount. Sometimes. Look at that. <laughs> it is a mess. You get skin cancer from all this oil. That ain't a joke, guys. I hope not. All right. Try not to be so messy. Look at that. Boom. Like four ounces, right? Four times ten, that's forty ounces of oil. That's almost a that's a damn polar pop, guys. Maybe it's two ounces, but look, what do you think? Do you see how much that was? <laughs> I'd say between two and four ounces. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Fluid ounces, by the way. Damn potheads. Look at that. That was a lot. I'm wore out, guys. This is like the most work I do, though. You know what I'm saying? If I'm not home, I'm just in the truck. There's no work being done. Just setting, setting being sad. <laughs> and trucking is uh, its own animal, you know? I can think of a billion other things I'd rather be doing. But... because I want to do it, don't mean I can. <laughs> and get paid for it. If I could be, get paid for making stupid videos like this, shh. like immediately, not like, you know, 10 years down the road. I mean like right now. I quit my job and just make stupid videos. I keep my truck too. I would keep this truck just so I make stupid videos about it. <laughs> put, some, uh, put some mud tires on the back and take it down the hill. <laughs> Yeah, guys, that was uh, that was worth doing. Doing that, you know, it was worth it. We'll let that drain for a little bit longer. If you guys will just stare at this for a moment, I'm gonna wash. I'm gonna try to wash this off, and uh, I don't know what. Just stare at that beautiful Cummins right there, you know. The beautiful 1.14 million miles. Cummins. Oh, hold up. I don't know why I'm stopping. I still got this molasses to finish off. <laughs> this damn thing. That'll take, look at that. That smells so good. I love that smell. One thing about working in the shop, I still remember it, and every time I go into the shop, that just that smell of grease. Ah, I love it. I really thought about like starting my own shop. Heck, if you think about it, um, you know, like if you rented, if you leased a building, you know, like say just three bays in a in an office, bathrooms, you know, if you lease that. We're talking maybe 25, in my area, 2,500 a month, okay? So 2,500 down, 
you pay your first month's uh, lease or whatever plus the down. Um, you know, then you gotta like hire people. That's the whole problem. When you structure a business, like I don't have employees, so it's simple. This is all easy. You know, there's no quarterly um, uh, salary tax that I have to pay. But once you add employees, everything changes. And in Indiana, um, I don't know. I've looked into it. There's some stuff that's annoying, and I'm that's why I'm a truck driver. I don't like the annoying crap. <laughs> the funny thing is, it's the most annoying thing ever. Trucking is. <laughs> What's most annoying is that I've gained 50 pounds in two years. What's even more annoying is that, and that is, I'm live. Look how, how many people's on it. What is in your mouth? Uh, my phone died. 